Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of From the Heart. My name is Bryant and today we are going to be doing something most special and something that is honestly just a bit for me, alright? Conker's Bad Fur Day for the Nintendo 64 was one of the first games that I ever actually played for myself, let alone all the way through, and it's a game that I know like the back of my hand. I think I've replayed through this game at least every year, maybe every two years, and I think we are going to have such an awesome time going through this. If you've never seen this game before, uh, it's going to start off slow, but it is going to ramp up so fast and I gotta say I think it's by far one of the best Nintendo 64 games that I personally have ever played. I could not be more enthused to be playing this with all of you, alright? I've been waiting to do this for so long, ever since my old channel, and I've never had the chance to actually sit down and record it. And uh yeah everybody. I, I have so much to say, but um let's just jump right into this amazing little game, alright? I'm gonna go to game two, because I've already started one, and uh Let's hit new game, and I hope you all are ready for the splendor that is this game, alright? I remember my mom buying me this game when I was a very little kid, uh, thinking that it was a child's game because of the quirky characters on the front of the box, but this could not be further from the truth, and this little introduction here will only prove that, okay? It's a bit of a clockwork orange little hint, there's many different movie hints throughout this entire thing, and man, alright, it's just... It's such a good game, alright? We are going to be able to fly right through it. This should be a longer recording. Uh, I think I'm going to try and do an hour each and every time between my regular scheduled videos and things like that. But yes, everybody. Conker's Bad Fur Day. I'm going to shut up here for a second so we can sit and watch this. And, um... Ooh. I got goosebumps. I truly do. <laughs> Oh my god, I am so excited for this. The little glass of milk. Nice stubby little legs. Truly one of my all-time favorite characters in video game history. Surrounded well, by our brethren. There I am. Conquer the king. King of all the land. Who'd have thought that? But how did I come to this? I hate the you gears, man. I am so excited and to get to every one of these people. Fellow that surround my throne. I hear you also say. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. And what a day that was. It's what I call a bad. Day. Uh, hell yes. Okay, so yes, the entirety of this game takes place in one day, essentially, alright? One bad hangover is going to start off this entire thing. And the interesting part about this game is that there's only two voice actors for the entire thing, alright? One for this lovely little squirrel right here, and one for everybody else, being Conker, being all the different characters, Every little sound effect and such. It's all this one guy, besides this one lady. Hi. You've reached, like, Barry's place? I'm not available to answer the phone, obviously. However, if you leave your, like, name and number and you sound cute, I may ring you back. Ciao. Hi, Barry. Hello. Barry, if you there, pick up. Hello. <laughs> oh, anyway. Look. I'm gonna be a bit late. Well, met up with a couple it's of guys. Drastic you know, audio tomorrow change. To some, I don't know, fight some war somewhere. Anyway, there's so uh, many Easter eggs throughout this. Uh, Even that yeah. painting in the background is a scenario in the game that we will eventually get to. Like I said, if this is your first time ever seeing this game, thank you so much for watching. Um, be feel free to go check out some of my other videos. That is the staple of this channel. This is just kind of something fun that we're gonna be doing together. But yes, okay. even all these gentlemen waiting to go to war Someone is also another segment of the game, alright? You could say, you know, there's a lot of changes, uh, there's a lot of in-outs in this so game. Good, you guys enjoy yourself and all that, and I'll probably see you sometime next week. I gotta go home. I'll, Starting I'll off as a wasted way. squirrel, oh, one of the no, prime moments of my childhood. <laughs> Oh, 
and I. This little tombstone guy in the side is somebody who always kind of creeped me out as a kid playing this. He's a character that we will be coming across a great many times throughout this game. Sorry about that, old chap. <laughs> Gotta go. Gotta go. Man, all the music and everything in between for this game is something... It's all just too nostalgic for me, and I'm gonna try not to talk about that the entire time that we're playing this. But the chances of that happening are slim to none. Because this truly is a game... That really does mean something to me. And we could have played the Xbox original anyway, version, which I do think is just as good as this. You know, it's got some cool costume changes. Uh, pretty much nothing else about it has changed for a few, like, effects and whatnot. But, uh, N64 version is where it's at. It's been a long time since I played through this version. Have you seen these little bees that came across right there? They're actually wasps. Uh, they are very real. Well, here we are. Looking at the hideout of the Panther King. And the whole reason for this game even being a thing is that one table right there that is missing a leg. And what happens next is truly something that'll blow your mind. More milk, Sire? Hmm. Yes. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> Everybody's just like, oh shit. Uh, he was not a forgiving king. That is for sure. Just wow. Just purely wow. Um, and just I have noticed, everybody, I think my recording software is kind of giving us this ringing noise throughout the game. I'll do my best to kind of blend that out of the recording. And it's time for us to awaken with an enormous hangover that will give us access to very context-sensitive context situation. And here we go. Our journey into this wonderful realm has begun. And like I said, I do think this is going to be a very good playthrough. It's like I said, once again, <laughs> I know this game like the back of my hand, and we are just going to absolutely fly through this thing. And uh, I'm really just so excited. I'm pretty sure a few of you in the Discord are going to be excited as well. And um, I have something to prove here today. A lot of you are saying that the Nintendo 64 version wasn't censored, and that the only censorship happened in the Xbox original version. Which is not true, alright? That is something that has always been around. <laughs> Swear words have always been bleeped. I love how the carrots are like faded into the ground. I, I need to get home and go to bed because I don't feel very well at all. Oh, no. No. Oh, you can't help me at all. Uh, uh, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, I can. Maybe. Um, okay. <laughs> What's your name? Beardy. Beardy? You haven't got a beard. No. Beardy. I scared Beardy's. Okay, Birdie. Not sure whose idea it was um, to have a drug-addled scarecrow as a character throughout this game, but man, is he iconic, alright. <laughs> throughout this game, we are going to be helping him, you know, step further in to the void that is, uh, drug and alcohol abuse, alright? We're gonna go ahead You see those buttons? do it right here. You'll find that, uh... Uh, they got context sensitive. Context sensitive. <laughs> and, uh, uh, well, actually, they, uh, uh, press B. Press B. Oh, yeah. The light comes on. Uh, and it makes this nice ting. <laughs> ting. Ting noise. Ting noise. Nice ting. Uh, no, ting. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay, I'll press B. 
I love how they're both fucked up. But Conker is slowly going to be getting out of this. We're going to go into press the B for the ting noise. Can you see that we have some kind of buzz wiser in our hands or something with a slightly different berry name? Uh, what does that mean? It means contact sensitive. It's very good, sensitive Bertie. to contacts. Try it over there. Okay. Or you could try it again. But, uh, let's go ahead and uh, give him something else to smile about. What do you say? Maybe a whole canister of helium? Which I don't know why you would just inhale. I'm pretty sure helium doesn't get you high. There are things uh, that are used to make whipped cream. I don't want to say the actual name. And uh, you should never do them because they are absolutely terrible for your brain. But it seems like maybe that is what Birdie could use instead of helium to have some sort of silly voice. But we're going to let Birdie go to sleep. Uh, let's go take a look at Conker while we're at it, right? Tongue oh, sticking out. Them. This man is down bad. <laughs> There's so many parts in this game where I needed to either turn down the volume or shut off before my parents could actually see because I don't believe they ever fully realized, you know, just what exactly was going on in this game. There are a lot of parts in this that are a little uncomfortable, you might say, all right? Especially when it comes to the gears. Um, just what I needed. Many. In fact. It Any moments that, that are not meant for children, that is for sure. At that moment in time. time. Oh, I see what he means. Context sensitive. Clever. Mm. Oh, I feel a <laughs> lot better. Right, let's get yes. out of here. Oh, and by the way, if for whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, I couldn't have it, honestly. But you will have to have watched I could, but I want one. everybody here to relive every moment of this game. With me. Alright, we got our high jump. We got our floaties, which later on we will actually learn to swim and will not need anymore. <laughs> There's a lot of growth going on in this game. Oh, I can't seem to get any further. I'm sure there was something. Ah, yeah, now I remember. Hold the zip up and down, and I should crack. Now then, what was it? Oh yeah, press A to jump extra high. Very useful. Then A again to do that funny helicopter tail thing. Now that makes me harbor. Hmm, I should easily get across that gap. Um, are you sure you got that? I, I did get all that. All right. Now this part... I actually did a review of this game on my old channel called Back of the Box, and uh, I mentioned that this was one of the hardest parts in the game for me as like a young five or six year old playing this game, is I would constantly fall off the sides of these. But now, you know, being an adult at 28 really doesn't stand to be much of a challenge, but either way, you know, we, we grow, we get better. If you think you're coming this way. You can think again. Oh, you're a real child. I will be going that way. This man will not stop Please. us. No, I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of He's gothic architecture? Two hundred years. Gets right up your ass, you know. <laughs> Thought it was about time to move on to a bridge, oh, okay. say. And I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? Well, if you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, not gonna do that quite yet because he will smack us and we will have to climb all the way back up here. So we're gonna hit the lever. And, uh, one thing throughout this playthrough I think you all can kind of look forward to as opposed to other uh, Let's Play YouTubers and the such is... This is for fun for me, alright? And we're gonna kinda have a chill and good time. I'm not gonna be yelling out, hey guys, every two seconds. And, uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going for there. I'm just very excited to play this game, everybody. I'm probably gonna be talking about that excitement for quite a second, but let's go ahead and run in here. We need to go ahead and get a hold of the pan so that we may slap this gentleman. I believe it is on. A rack over? Hang okay, on. There you go. Something missing here. 
Didn't I have a... Ah. Ah. Try pressing B. And see what that does. We're just gonna go ahead um, and uh, are you absolutely sure you got that? smack the shit out of this key. Make him fall down. And uh, bend him to our will, quite frankly. <laughs> yeah! There we go. Hey, oh, Bill. This is just kind of a means to get our frying pan out. So we can take down that nasty little gargoyle sitting on the top. Who so enjoys gothic architecture, if you couldn't tell before. Alright, he's merely just gotten comfortable, and we are going to ruin that for everybody. <laughs> because we need to make our way. Alright, nobody will stand in our path. And, uh, this is mostly a game that everybody has wanted a sequel for years, and I am kind of on the opposing side that I don't believe they could really make a sequel that could harness the energy of this game, at least for us nostalgic people who have played it in our childhood. Uh, there's a lot of parts in this that I don't think would quite fly today, especially as I've said before, like the cog scene, but we will get there. We will get there. But let's go ahead and give him a smack. A frying pan. <laughs> you stupid little... Yes. Falls off for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Maybe he's been sitting too long and he's kind of lost the um, civilization, his own balance. Uh, once again, we have these kind of like translucent mushrooms. Um, I really dig the whole aesthetic of this game. I just think it's... Uh, Something very special in Nintendo 64, and something that I'd never quite seen on consoles before that besides, you know, PS1. Oh, yeah. I guess I guess I can't say that, because the Dreamcast had some absolutely outstanding I games on that as well. Now. But for the Nint Nintendo 64, this game was very story-heavy. Lots of cutscenes. Honestly, shut -eye. very impressive. Where Conqueror would think you would finally get some shut eye will uh, slowly be disruptive after we get past all these cute little dandelion type people. This is also one of my all-time favorite characters, is this doctor who is, um, throughout the whole game, just getting his ass handed to him by this Panther King. And, uh, something I always found very uncomfortable as a kid playing through this game, but now it's just, you know, uh, kind of silly. <laughs> Doesn't seem so mean anymore. Welcome. I have a job for you. As you can see. The In the whole issue why is this game even exists oh, yes. is this missing table leg that oh, nobody again nobody oh, knows how to fix struggled. and the only that thing that they kind of come across that can fix it is to put conqueror's body I, underneath it rather I think than I see the problem. making a I new table leg even though you think that if one had fallen off it might I'll be right next to it and be uh, easily be too attachable <laughs> uh, i was this quick as i can sir because we were what happened last time. <laughs> on it a well, on it a well. I I'll go now. I don't want to have to get the duct tape out again. Of course not. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Wait, no. And uh, I don't want you to get the duct tape out again. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Duct tape? I'll give him a duct tape. <laughs> Asshole. I'll come down here, I'll show him what the duct tape is. Sleazy? I'll show him what the stuff is. Stop censorship, it. my friend? A little bit of censorship for you? Anyway, what are we? Um, the milk, the milk, the table, the table, the table. What shall we do? What shall we do with this? Um, clean slate. Yeah, clean slate. Uh, this, uh, anti gravity chocolate. It's kind of working. Uh, that's Wulu. That's Wulu. At the f***ing window with that. I absolutely love that, how he just smacks it out. And this is actually going to be our health system throughout this entire game. I'm sure many of you know every little bit of this game. It's been out for a very long time. But man, I, I envy you if this is your first time ever seeing this game. Let's go ahead and eat a little bit of that. Head off to our very first mission. Where we will help a giant queen bee uh, kind of recover her lost territory. <laughs> 
Whatever shall we do? My beautiful hive is gone. Oh, I'll never see it again now. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Please get it back for us. Otherwise, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. I'll go and get it for you. Now, where is it? Oh, just follow the signs. <laughs> oh, what I wanted to do. Okay, so here we go. Uh, quick bathroom break, but while we're here, we can um, observe Conquer actually doing a few little animations when you just sit still, playing with yo-yos, uh, drinking, playing a little Game Boy, checking his watch, a little quims and charms that can be seen throughout the game. It's something that I always enjoyed and waited for when I was a kid. I always loved when he pulled out his Game Boy, because at the time, I myself also had a Game Boy, and I thought that was just the coolest little Nintendo product placement that I've ever seen, quite frankly. But here we are, arriving at the Wasp Nest. About to go on the most ultimate heist you've ever seen. I'm gonna quick eat this chocolate, make sure that we're at full health here. And let's just pick this thing right up and get the fuck out of here. Hey, some wise guys trying to steal our nice new hide! Come on, boss. Let's go get it. This also served as a very complicated part of the game for me as a five to six year old child. But these days, no way, no way. <laughs> I'm just gonna sprint. Jesus Christ! The entire time, they stay very close to us, and it can be quite difficult to stay away from them. But as a gamer of my rank, no. Quite frankly. No. It's also kind of a reoccurring event throughout these games, this queen constantly having her hive stolen, and uh, us liberating it back for her. And these wasps continuing to come back to life. <laughs> um. Eat that, mother buzzer. <laughs> yes. Get ready for carnage. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Squirrel. A lot of this would have happened if it weren't for that no good husband. You are most welcome. It's gone off, you know. Most welcome. Woman. Oh, really? That doesn't surprise me. What? Nothing. Anyway, Nothing? as a reward for your good service to the bee community, I present you with this. For me. Our first little bit of cash. Alright, something that you've probably seen throughout some of my videos on this channel every time I mention money is this little PNG gif of this little dude right here. Uh, one of my favorite characters throughout this game. Cash prizes. <laughs> Pretty advanced uh, hive technology, you might say, right there. But let's go ahead and meet Birdie once again. As well as these very rude beetles that we have been coming across throughout the entirety of the game. You will find that throughout this game, everybody wants to either get your help or kick your ass, and it's very annoying, quite frankly. Right. What seems to be the problem? Oh yeah. You need manual. Otherwise, that doesn't work. No idea what Mepsi Packs is, but if any of you do know, please comment down below and let me know, because I would honestly be interested to hear what exactly Mepsi Packs is. Long time. You have manual long time. There you go. There you go. Manual. Just press. Why thank you, Bernie. You intoxicated vagrant. Get me out of here! <laughs> hey, you. Not the pocket. Come here. Come on. Anybody would like to be here. Uh, let's quick pause it. Yes, it does. Okay, so we had $100. He took the money. We're back to 90 I don't know why that fascinates me, but... It does a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I think that's just kind of neat. Cash. And... Money back in pocket? Back to 100 bucks. Alright, I know it's not a big deal, but uh, it's something that I enjoy. Seems to be an instruction book. This was definitely a part I wish we could skip hacks, but uh, whatever. 
get ready to get our slingshot out and absolutely decimate the population of beetles in this wondrous little world. And if you need it again, then press L and B at the same time. To skip it, just press B. Let's see now. Use control stick to aim. Will do. And C button to fire. That seems simple enough. Okay. Okay, here we go. I think after this part there should be less tutorials and things like that to kind of sit through, but uh... Let's hit this man. If we can, the aiming is a little... A little dated, but... No, I think we can manage. For the most part. Just gotta aim down a little bit. And shoot again. Did you see how you hit his wrist and they still completely explode? Very cool. Bam. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Ooh. That was a little close. Admittedly. And they're all gone. <laughs> and the next area opens, alright. Now the next area has some very interesting characters featuring a big-breasted sunflower, as well as a, a whole other world completely made of poo that we will see. So we'll go check out that first, and then we'll head into the area that we're supposed to. Just to that not way? miss any cutscenes. Or that way. Hmm. That way smells a bit pooey. Hmm. A tad. A see. tad bit pooey. Hmm. But let's go ahead and enter this area. There's a lot of little bits in this game, especially oh, the Xbox okay. original version. We'll actually put on different costumes. And, uh, this is one of them. Is this little gas mask. Because this entire area, this entire mountain in front of us is... It's shit, quite frankly, alright? It's completely all feces. <laughs> you know, very adult. Very adult. Hmm. Ten o'clock. What time is it now? Well. Well, I suppose I'll come back later then. Yes, we shall. Put the gas mask back on. And, uh, get to the next area. We will not only... We'll actually get to meet the husband of the Queen Bee that we've just seen earlier. A man who is, um, down bad. <laughs> as well as a bunch of these boxes that are, uh, not very nice. And I absolutely love how he's looking at us. They're trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with this table. And for some reason, nobody can figure out why it fell over. Why it's missing a leg. <laughs> and why nobody... Seems can pull to together the carpenter skills to hmm. just build a new leg instead of I hunting down a squirrel expand. through all of the land to um yeah. to fix it. Always yeah. blew my mind. And they will solve this out. And then it makes I me question the political leadership of this entire place. They will see. Who uses a duct tape? <laughs> <laughs> we see the heads of the teddy bears over there. That is uh, going to be a very controversial part of later on in the end game of this whole thing. And I'm just so excited to uh, get to the ending of this entire thing. I think every section of this game is just so enjoyable. Um, obviously, very immature, especially what we are about to witness right here, but uh, it is what it is. Let's get this mouse out of here. Dude. Oh, okay. Oh, he's making me puke from uh, the farting. A sailor, a little fella. Fellow. You better get this fat ass bitch off from of my back pronto. <laughs> Gee, so many people around here want me to solve their problems. What are you gonna do for me then? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I say, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You get rid of that freaking mouse critter, uh, and maybe I'll help you out. Just maybe. Oh, just one more thing. I say, just one more thing. You make one into my friend, Bird. Just mention my name, Jack, and everything will be just That's dandy. dandy. Yeah. Alright, let's go run over. Like I said, I know everything you have to do in this game, essentially. So, uh, there should be no downtime, alright? It should just be constant, moving forward. I think we're all gonna have a very fun time. Um, you know, for people who are used to my normal channel... Uh, with comic book videos and you don't want to watch, just go ahead and skip it. But I have a feeling a lot of you are going to want to sit through this, you know. I think it's a good experience. I think it's a good story that I'm so well known for covering on this channel. 
Well, like I said in the beginning, this is just kind of for me, alright? This all is, uh, do? some me time right here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of cheese. Smack him with a frying pan, and we'll bring him over to this nice little mouse until, uh, he might overgorge himself. I've been told. Let's wait for this box to turn around. Let's do a... Avoid being absolutely crushed, devastated by the pure power of these blocks. For him to kind of flip over. There we go. We are clear to proceed and to feed the vagrants of this land. That was nice. Ooh, I'd like another though, if that's okay. It's okay, sir. There's a mission that we are trying to kind of accomplish here that um, you all will see very soon. So, obviously, you know, these are an older game, the world of Nintendo, who started the three times mission kind of deal. It's going to be the case here for essentially every boss battle, any situation. Going to need to do it three times. It's just... What is to be expected? <laughs> We're making good time here. You know, we're really pushing through this game. <laughs> oh my god. Marvelous! The gas you know. should just about do it. And, uh, you know, being a child playing through this game, this next part coming up is something that I also found a little bit disturbing, but you will all see. You will all see. Go ahead and skip past this a little bit. Maybe get ourselves some chocolate if need be. It appears it wouldn't. I always felt so bad for the cheeses in this game. I'm just being smacked around by a cast iron pan and then being fed alive. Quite frankly, to this mouse creature who uh, just absolutely cannot get enough cheese. Okay, it's very close, but we got this. Let us fester and rise. Absolutely ridiculous. After three pieces of cheese, this man has literally exploded. One of the funniest moments in gaming history is this skeleton still being able to release gas. I couldn't have lasted a moment longer there. Thank you very much, Mr. Squirrel. Now, there's something real neat inside that barn. You just gotta get in there, Sonny. This is where everybody's gonna start getting a little passive-aggressive. <laughs> well, let's make our way inside of this barn to see whatever is, you know, being called so neat. So that's a little bit of cash up here that we can grab. Never tried to smack the cash with a frying pan. Now, I don't know if we could. No, well, you want some great stuff. give that a roll next time. Yeah, I think the round's on me. I'm gonna get tanked tonight. <laughs> very cool, oh. Conker. Very, quite very so cool. After all. <laughs> oh, hang on. Not at all. We're getting cash. We're uh, uh, helping see. people out with the Big hand is... pureness of our own hearts. Yeah. Hey. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay, the poop world oh, is yeah. now open, but we're gonna finish this section first before uh, before we continue. We are now ready to open up this door, head inside of the barn, do some more absolutely lovable characters, people that have uh, shaped me as a human being throughout my life. <laughs> no, I played this during the formative years, and uh, it's always stuck with me. We are. Do something very neat.
Hey, you over there. Huh? Yeah, you. Apparently, there's something real neat inside this barn. Uh, I can't quite see it myself. Unless, of course, some guy's jumping around stinking a horse poo's real neat. Which, uh, of course, it isn't. <laughs> find it a little bit neat, this you know? Is pretty Living neat. hay bales with eyes that uh, eventually will essentially die by our hand, but. Spoilers. <laughs> hey, Frankie! I think there's a little fellow over there. He's just coming in through the door. I think it's your turn to kick his. Is it your turn? Is it his turn? Yeah, yeah, I say it was his turn. Yeah, Frankie, go and kick his ass. Go on, go on, kick his ass. I ain't kicking me. But it's, that, it's always my turn to kick my asses. Frank, just go over there and kick his ass, Frank, for f***ing sake. Yeah, yeah, go over there kick his ass. Somebody's got to kick his ass. It ain't gonna be me. I'm a, I'm a brush. Yeah, you don't kick ass. Well, I'm a paint pot <laughs> anyway. I'm a f***ing paint pot. Go kick I'm his ass. I'm a f***ing paint pot. I can't uh, fucking kick uh, his ass. Okay, I'll kick his ass. <laughs> I'm not going over there. He can come over here. Okay, okay. Hey, hey here he comes. Quick, quick. Just keep still, keep still. <laughs> <laughs> just that casual. We're all just uh, talking objects that um, with giant bulging eyes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and eat a piece of chocolate, get back to full health, and uh, talk to these wonderful characters that are just full of positivity. What the damn diddly squat are you doing in my barn? Well, I never. It's a talking pitchfork. Not from around here, are you, boy? No, I'm from the 21st century. I don't rightly recollect liking your type. Therefore, I conclude that I was gonna kick your butt all around this barn like there's no tomorrow. I was gonna stick my big fork right in you. Were your parents related, like before they were married? Right, <laughs> that's it. I was gonna give you a whooping. Here we go. Bet. Okay, here comes essentially, if I might say it, you know, the genocide of um, all these hay bales. It's not the nicest thing in the world. Go. One down. It's the real tiny ones that are uh, get pretty hard to kill. But here we go. Let's get another couple of these bigger gentlemen. Oh my God! He actually hit me. I thought I could make it through it. 100%. Maybe we can get three. No. Here we go. Just a couple more. And you can actually, uh, their eyeballs will fly off and roll across the floor, and you can actually step on these. And, uh, it's a great joy, it's a great joy, but I'll show you that all here in a moment. we get a couple more of these guys down. Come on. Come on. Jumping far too soon. He did see that one splatter against the wall. It's quite metal. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's go over here. Let's, uh, go ahead and pounce on that one. Bam. Come on, Mr. Pitchfork. Over here, sir. Oop. Right, let's get this tiny one. Come on. Damn it. Right over here. There we go. That one was the hardest, so it's, you know, it's good to get that one out of the way. Come on. I have no idea where he went. Oof. Here we go. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> there we go. Right. He is, uh... We have shamed this man. And here comes a very brutal part of this game. And that is the shittest, crappiest, crappiest, this kick ass I've ever seen. Yeah, I, yeah, that's pretty crap. I, kick, as kicking ass goes, it was abysmal, and you is a sh bastard, stupid bastard. <laughs> Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he sure is. So, what are you gonna do now? Kill yourself, because that's what I recommend. Yeah, you kill yourself. And Matt, we got a rope right here, and we got a rope. <laughs> yeah, we got a rope. There you go. Pretty hardcore what for an old Nintendo game to be talking about, you know, killing yourself. Uh, <laughs> In that case, I is gonna kill myself. Being a I'm shit ass, right kicking ass shit ass. That's all there is to it. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? <laughs> you stupid bastard. <laughs> you see what got a neck. Hey, look at you up there hanging there. You stupid bastard. You ain't got a neck, are you? You ain't got a neck, has he? I already said that. Shut up. Oh, okay. I don't believe this. I don't appear to have a neck of any description. 
In fact, I ain't got an esophagus. Oh, diddle die damn. I'm gonna be a bitch for some time. How anybody could come up with such a story like this, such sophistication, such deep and well enjoyed characters. I have no idea. There actually is a very good uh, documentary about the creation of this game. I do recommend that you go watch it. It's very interesting. Uh, we can quick get ourselves out of here. That would be the husband of the Queen Bee, and a man who has uh, of a particular taste, and a man who is in need of our help. And somebody that will be getting our help throughout this game, as we need to be crafting allies, all right? We need to, uh, oh, this gentleman, which I kind of totally forgot about. <laughs> it's a giant hay bale. So, my nemesis is defeated. <laughs> yes, it's me again. Right, time to wander around. Aimlessly. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he's going to be doing the entire time that we are just going to uh, going on adventure. But we're going to go ahead and um, talk to this bee, and then we're going to finish this little arc of uh, this hay king hey buddy, inside the barn. Just spare me a dime. Hey buddy, don't ignore me. Oh, they always ignore me. Hey! Uh, oh, what do you want? Did you know, in my own country, I'm a king! Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That bitch threw me out. Apparently the hive keeps getting stolen. Well, I don't care. Good You've already taken the... care of that, hey, sir. Anyway, you see how fat she is? Bitch. Now I'm reduced to the states of a bum. Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I gotta go now. Uh, you're like the rest of them. I ain't gonna tell you about the big-breasted babe, then. The... Uh, the... big what? The what? Uh, thought that might have got your attention. She's lovely. That's why the wife kicked me out. Uh, all I want to do is pollinate her. Oh, she's got to stick moves like you would Become an uncomfortable part of this recording. What do you mean? <laughs> I think we'll get to that on the next episode, yeah. but uh... Over there. Yeah, this little show over here, this is a uh, part of the game that... Me and friends as children made very sure no parents ever saw this because we knew that they would take this game away. <laughs> and that's not even the worst part of this whole thing, but it's definitely um, close to the most vulgar. There's one more part that I really do think is pretty strange joke that we'll get to later on in this game. What's in it for me? Cash? That'll do. That'll do. Oh yeah, I guess... Yeah. He sussed me. <laughs> oh my god, I never noticed that. <clears throat> Anyways, we need to get... I think we can go ahead and uh, climb up this side once again. You can just use the wooden crate, but I'm, I'm choosing a different route. The route... Of a master, if I can manage to land on it. There we go. Back into the barn to save our friend the pitchfork, or a man who will eventually become a, an ally. But I'm blind, you fuck. <laughs> Here we go. Oh no, we used it too soon. gonna go ahead and uh, skip forward to me getting back to there. Okay, we are back in action, and I'm just gonna kind of straight up skip these, because we don't really need to sit through them. You can use a flamethrower to actually destroy these people, but like I said, we can just, you know, we can kind of get on without it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save our friend by uh, directly throwing giant knives at him. Here we go. Alright, kinda kinda missing here. <laughs> Alright, sorry everybody. My camera died. I'd go run a few errands, but let's just go ahead and continue with uh watching us cut this guy down. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> I've never liked the paintbrush and the paint bucket. They've always seen like cool individuals, but ourselves, we're also going to be getting hurt, and we'll be on our way to our very first boss battle here. Oh, so, what did you do that for? Dumb sh yeah, 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 dumb <laughs> <laughs> and the hate has been turned be onward onto us. I, I, I don't think I mean, I, I, do I? Yes, you do, actually. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think those two also might be a play Thank the you, Mr. Squirrel. Of, uh, the big I was hanging guy. up there by my pretty little neck. It was like one of them damn executions you hear about. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. What are we gonna do about this guy over here? Well, what do you wanna do about it? I'll do anything for you, cause you is my Whoa. bestest buddy in the whole wide world. Thinking pure annihilation, <laughs> pure <laughs> devastation of the body, quite frankly. Um, but it's more about what he's underneath <laughs> of this individual. Oh, what are you doing? Get off me! What exactly did you have I know if in that's mind? A, well, now, sexual just hop thing or not? Back here. And we're gonna go for a ride. Yeah, okay, but don't get any funny ideas now. This is purely a means to an end. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, everybody. On to our very first boss battle. Something so very intense. Uh, if we get right here. I forget how they even. How he lights on fire, I don't really know, even what is about to be exposed anyway. It's never quite made too much sense to me. Before we get back on this guy, let's grab some chocolate. We may find our opportunity to kind of let this gentleman pass. Better days are coming. Seen him stand still for so long. Fuck. Okay, get back. Uh, come on. Uh. Okay. Get a little bit more serious about this. It's so hard to just get the screen to turn. to see what this man is really made of. <laughs> and what that would happen to be is actually the Terminator. And yet another movie reference. Right, let's grab one more piece of chocolate. And uh, let's end this until of course we get to the second segment of this boss battle. And now I can turn the camera. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yo. Alright. Wasn't quite as hard as I thought it'd be. Of course, now we'd make our way to the underworld. Which is also a segment of the game we can get to. Ooh, we do need to die first. What happens then is also... Very funny, but I think we're going to save that for the second episode, just because I don't think I really need the die yet. So I'm, doing, I'm doing fairly good. Oh, I think I hurt my leg. Oh, no. Uh, what's up, little squirrel fella? Uh, we showed him, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. Uh, that was a piece of cake. Yeah, it was, actually. That makes a change. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I like the sound of that music. Uh, I don't think I like the sound of that music either. Very menacing. The most intense Terminator I think I've ever really quite seen. Susie, nine millimeter. Nine millimeter. Right here, sweetie pie. Just tell me where to shoot. Oh my god. 
love how everything in this game is alive in some way or the other. Fuck, 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 run! Run! Alright. This part of the boss battle is fairly easy. I simply just needed to get him to shoot these pipes. Which he will do. He's kinda he's kinda forced into it at this point. Go ahead and shoot. There we go. We'll be introducing this gentleman into water. But you know, for a robot, for a sentient being, you would think they would know to avoid. Not this individual. Not today. Not in the this landscape of video game eras of Nintendo 64. Oh! One less arm to deal with. And, uh, let's head over to the secondary pipe. So we get to shoot his rockets one more time. Just kind of sit and stand and wait. There we go. It's alright. It's alright, we can make it through. Come on. Come on, sir. Ready for another button push? Bam. Okay, usually I tend to miss those very easily, but it seems like we're actually uh, blowing through it pretty good. We've seen to make our way over to this third pipe. Their time is the charm in any boss battle um, before 2010. <laughs> Here. I'm sorry about that. I had to check my phone real quick. But, oh, fuck. Okay. Just making sure that I personally couldn't get electrocuted by this man. Alright, here we go! Bam! Presentation of what can happen should the compressed bar in my chair shoot through the bottom um, and uh, hey, into my body. Frankie, Frankie, where he gone? Oh no, Frankie, uh, Mr. Scoop, our friend and ally, <laughs> has been snapped in half. Um, uh, we'll make it out alive. You may be all right. Maybe. What do you mean all right? Look at me. I'm broken in two. I'm just firewood from now. They'll be using me as toothpicks before you know it. No, you'll be all right. Come on. What are you going to do? Well, I got an idea. Okay, let's see. Hey, hold still. Even the duct tape is there you a go. little see-through. Good that. as new. It's kind of impressive uh, for the era. It's, well, it kind of feels all right. Huh? It ain't so bad after all. What do you think? Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Oh, that looks great. <laughs> you know, thank you, Mr. Squirrel. I think that of all the people in the world I've ever met, you has got to be the most generous, kindest, nicest, nicest, lovely spirit. Okay, yeah, no need to get sentimental. Anyway, we gotta find a way out of here now. Yeah, you could be right. Yep. Yep. Oh no. Typical. <laughs> this part usually does kick my ass a little anyway, bit. Mr. But one thing I've never really go. understood is exactly how Frankie just gets out of here and why exactly oh. we can't just follow this man. Oh well. But I better stop. But we are a main character. Hmm. We are subjected to uh, be quick. to worse situations for the most part. But we need to go on our way to find the ladder and get out of this hellhole that will soon become. Intellectual bed of uh, of death. All right, I'm not really sure what else to call it at this point. Uh, this is the older version of the game, so the aiming is not quite as good as the Xbox original. But I, I, I think we can make it for the most part. It gives us a pretty generous hitbox. Sorry, shut a little bit. There's another one. 
This guy, though, is quite the distance. Oh, no, 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 the water is rising fast. Shit. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no, sir. There's another one. I should I try and see if I can hit the other ones? Oh, God, I don't even know where the third one is. Okay, go down here. Ready? Oh my god. Please tell me I can at least hit this one. Fuck. Alright. This is the end. We are, uh, definitely not making out of this alive. Shit. Okay. At least at this point, we're going to be meeting death, I believe. Which is a fun part of the game. It's something that I truly enjoy and I think is very very creative for the most part. <laughs> That's very, very ominous. Yes, you boy. You're dead. You are dead. 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 Right. Hello. Um, my name is. I'm gonna wait Greg. until the second episode to meet Grim. this guy, but. Grim Reaper. Don't laugh. Aren't you That's a little a shot to be a Grim Reaper? Well, how many Grim Reapers have you met before, mate? What, what am I supposed to look like? Yeah, that's a good point. I'm well made. Now, let's see. Ah, yes. Conquer. Surname? The Squirrel. The Squirrel. The. Oh, bloody hell, you would have to be a sodding squirrel, wouldn't you? Why, is there a problem with that? Well, yes, there is, actually. It's like those bloody cats. Such a pain in the ass. You're one of these special cases. Oh, really? Yes. Apparently, according to the powers that be, I'm just doing my job. I do what I'm told. I don't even get paid very much. Apparently, squirrels can have as many lives as they think they can get away with. What oh, an amazing power. So and an amazing there. way to actually introduce yeah, lives into the game is quite. running around and collecting oh, right. all these well, squirrel uh, tails. I'll be off then. I love that phrase. As many lives as you Wait. think you can get Smart away ass. with. You don't get out of it that easily. Now, the thing is, you may not be dead, but that doesn't mean you can't die. You just have a few more, shall we say, chances. Yeah. It's like cats. I hate those things. Right. Distributed around your little world are these tail things. Squirrel's tails. If you can get them, I'll give you an extra chance. Understand? Um, well... It's never made clear no, whether or not nice, these okay. are the tails of other dead okay. squirrels, and we're just stealing them for ourselves to kind of you, extend our own lifespan, right, which that's it. would be it's pretty up. metal, but, I've got you know, some cats to see. <laughs> I just don't bloody know if that's the case or I not. I bloody cats. Later on in the game, we'll get to kind of a zombie level where we'll actually get to meet some of these cats, as well as a few other segments, but they're very interesting uh, creatures in the world of this game. Usually we actually like get to walk around this little we environment. We definitely showed him that time. At this point, uh, let's go ahead and skip this. Continue our way forward. I do believe we're gonna make it this time, everybody. We are going to make it. Having a little bit of trouble getting back on that ladder. Okay, this time, we will worry about the things that are actually in our immediate danger. There's one. There's two. Another one directly behind us. Let's see if we can't hit some of these other ones and save ourselves some time. Come on. A little over. A little down. Nicely done. Okay, I think we can get out of here. Move over to the next segment. At least that's one less that we have to actually sit and think about. <laughs> Let's go! 
Making good time. Fairly confident that we can do this. Up onto our other pedestal. And over just a little to the right. Oh my god, I heard the loudest squealing I've ever heard. Scared the shit out of me. I think it was just coming from the game, though. There we go. And more over yonder. Aim down just a bit. Oh shit. Ooh, this is fucking nerve wracking. Oh, God damn it. Come on, bro. Okay. I think we made it. I think that was the last one. I hope. And I pray. There's our exit. For some reason, I remember there being a lot more electrical wires in the vicinity, but I'll take it. I'll take it over dying again. Let's quick hop up. And we made it alive! We fucking did it! Nicely done. Alright, we got the tombstone, gentlemen. Um, but everybody, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. I think we're reaching over an hour at this point. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you are a, a returner to this channel, I know this is a little different than what I typically do, but like I said, this is kind of for me, and hopefully you can enjoy it as well. For anybody new here, go check out some of my other full videos. I cover a lot of comic book things, and they're much more edited than this, all right? They actually have their own little format. They're like little tiny TV shows that I make out of shorter comic book stories and like, and some of them are a lot longer, all right? Um, my upload schedule is a... Uh, it's a little bit destroyed as of this moment, but we're getting back into the action. But yes, everybody, this has been From the Heart. I hope you all enjoy this episode of Conquer's Bad Fur Day, one of my all-time favorite games ever, and something I believe that everybody themselves should play. I think you died. Are you dead? You just hold up a minute, Conquer. But yes, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have yourself an absolutely fantastic day. Goodbye.